Hi, my name is Sunny, also known as the Motographer. Hi, my name is Sonia Jain. I'm a rider and an adventure junkie. We are out on this expedition to discover the 100 most iconic and unique motorcycles in India. Which define the face of Indian motorcycling. This is Indian 0 to 100 motorcycle. Definitely male. So this was the cast line for this motorcycle which was launched in 2002 and boy did it take the entire India by storm. Bajaj launched the Pulsar brand in 2001 as a response to Hero Honda CBZ. Reacting to the rising demands of performance seekers, Bajaj introduced Pulsar in two engine variants. The Pulsar 180 was their flagship and it came with a 180cc engine capable of producing 15 bhp of power. It was the fastest motorcycle at the time, outperforming the CBZ by a considerable margin. It was also the first motorcycle by an Indian manufacturer which came with a front disc brake and an electric start as standard. And things did not stop there. 18 litres of fuel could be filled in the Pulsar's fuel tank. The massive fuel tank was indeed the prominent highlight of its design, giving the bike a substantial and aggressive appearance. While Bajaj stopped making this particular model, you can still buy it on OLX. The first generation Pulsar was instrumental in changing the dynamics of the Indian motorcycle market. From a motorcycle which turned a scooter company into a full-fledged performance bike maker, it is time to move on to a bike that not only saved the brand, but also to this day remains the most unique styled superbike. The Benelli Tornado 1130. There are bikes, then there are super bikes, then there are exotic bikes, and then there is this. This bike you actually cannot buy right now. And I think it's it might be worth quite a fortune. Tornado was Benelli's only superbike, which was sold from 2002 to 2014. The idea of a superbike originated when Benelli was looking to regain its life in the 1990s. Tornado was revealed at the Milan Motorcycle Show in 99 to a positive reception. It debuted with a 900cc inline 3 engine, but what had everyone's attention was the underseat radiator. From the outside, it looked like a pair of underseat exhausts. This led to a high seat height and a riding position which was a bit too aggressive. I can't believe I'm riding this motorcycle. I had a skate model of the same bike in the same color for so many years on my desk. And I'm riding this bike today, finally. It's such a rare motorcycle. And I couldn't imagine that I will ride this one day in India, right here. Even today, the Tornado remains the only production motorcycle to feature such a setup. In 2004, Benelli upgraded the Tornado with an 1130cc engine, which could produce 161 bhp of maximum power. I wish I could take this bike on the track right now, because this is where it belongs. I mean, not here. And no matter how unconventional it was, we would love to see it again in production.